we're not gonna do it we're gonna do kind of a straight line in try to get with these guys oh now we're running trains yeah oh GTR get out of the way all right so we What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Forza Motorsport 7. If you guys follow the channel, you guys know what car's sitting there. We're going to try and shake the rust off of my ESDA Camaro here today with all the new force feedback in the game. We're going to try and jump into a open drift session that allows you to go in and out whenever you want and see if we can't get some doors or just shake the rust off this car. Because last time I did force feedback update with this game I was using an FD car so today we're going to be using my ESDA car if you guys recognize the paint that is from ESDA around one Long Beach so um, we are going to be throwing this car sideways here today and uh, see how a normal non FD car handles with the new force feedback and uh, see if we can't grab some doors so we are going to be using our full Logitech G920 350 millimeter energy innovations wheel hydraulic cam brakes sequential shifter full gas brake inverted puddle gas brake clutch inverted pedals underneath and we are going to go into the open drift meetup so i definitely have been having a lot of fun with this open drift meetup being able to hop in get get sideways bounce out change cars change settings and go in and out in and out not having to really worry about it so it looks like we are going to be at uh lime rock which is a uh, pretty cool track so this will be fun to uh start getting sideways with this car so we're going to try and shake the rust off this car and hop right into it and uh, see how this goes. Looks like we got some an Alpha, a Twerk Stallion, another Camaro 17 FE in this mix. Maybe we can grab some doors with an identical car and it's right there. So this is the ESD car that I tried qualifying in ESDA. Um, if you guys follow the channel, you guys know about it. So I think we're going to wait for these guys and maybe uh, try and... Uh, Jump in the mix, that is the other, it's a TUS guy, it's TUS creative, okay. Well, definitely gonna wanna try and bang doors with this guy. And uh, we're already just getting into the tandem mix right now with RB20s. The ESDA Camaro, definitely one of my favorite handling cars. And uh, I think it handles a lot better with the new feedback. Oh, we're just running doors right now. That's definitely not how I expected this uh, episode to start off right away. I'm going to try and get up with the TUS uh, creative up there. See if we can uh, get up in the mix up there. This is the part of the track that I have a little bit of problems with. But we seem to get it worked out. So I say shaking the rust off this car, but uh, shaking the rust and the dust off, but doesn't look like there's any shaking to be had. We're just uh, throwing it right back into this. Oh, just a tap. Sorry, man. Little uh, Camaro tandems. like to be a little bit closer on him right now I don't want to hit those tires I don't want to lose this because if I don't stay with him I'll probably end up losing him I probably should have been up in fourth but uh I'm gonna stay in third so this car I think handles so much better with the force feedback than it did when I was trying to qualify an ESDA oh. Oh, he's got a ESDA on his door. Oh boy, so we got two ESDA cars going on right now. Alright, so he waited for me, so now what's gonna happen? Definitely don't want to overshoot that. Oh, 
it looks like he did. We'll, uh, we'll take the lead, see if he can't, see if he follows behind us. There we go. Little Tams with the TUS. I'm so okay with this. Quick flick back. Ah, too much on the grass. So he's, uh, he's trying to run tandems with me right now, so this is sweet. Ooh, just a little grass drop. There we go. All right, so this is uh, definitely a lot of fun. Did not expect this to be going on right now. To uh, have one of the other TUS guys and another ESDA car in the mix. That might be too much. That was a little bit too much, but be able to come up, somewhat correct it. And get back on track. right there so we were able to get on his door and he, oh just a little love it's all right oh no too much of a tap is he gonna wait oh no he ain't gonna wait <laughs> so we had a bit of a, a fun run with that right now and we had a little bit of bite on the wall Let's see if we can't catch up to these guys though Get back in the tandem mix. So like we got a bunch of uh, pretty high caliber drivers right now. I've been noticing a lot more people doing tandems now with the uh, the collision assistance and everything been changed. I'm gonna hit that NSX. We're not gonna do it. We're gonna do kind of a straight line in. Try to get with these guys. Oh, now we're running trains. Yep. Oh, GTR, get out of the way. All right, so we worked our way through. So now we're going to right back behind to US. Creative. Try shifting this in the fourth to this section. Trying to catch up to his door. Playing a little bit of catch up game. He was uh, right there on my door, so let's see what we can do if we can return the favor. Probably shift in the fourth coming on that section next time. All right, see what you got, man. Let's see if we can't uh, see if we can't throw down. See if we can't stay close to his door. Not doing too bad. A little bit wide off the grass, but I think uh, I think this car definitely uh, suits me very well, and probably still one of my favorite drift cars that I have. get wrecked tried to cut that a little bit too short so I think uh, I think we've done uh, this car justice for right now for so far this episode is he gonna wait I think he is we're probably gonna do a straight line entry Let's try to get behind him
definitely so comfortable in this car. And I think it shows. We're getting tandems here already. And this was just a try to see if we could drift this car again. Not a... Oh, he's gonna... Oh. <laughs> a little bit too much there. Now he's back with us. Alright, so he's gonna follow us now, so uh, let's see if we can uh, make a good entry. There we go. Hold it. There we go. Probably the nicest run through that section I've had in a long time. Oh man, we're just throwing this Camaro right now. Ooh, a little bit through the grass. Let him go ahead of us. See if we can't get a get a chase on him. So definitely having a lot of fun in this car right now, and uh, definitely having some uh, some good runs. It's gonna go a little bit wide, but we're gonna stay right there with him. I feel like he has a little bit more grip than I do. Still able to stay somewhat on his door. Oh, we both did it. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of cars coming in. I think we ghosted. Whew. So. I hope you guys are enjoying this little uh, spontaneous tandem session here on Forza Motorsport 7. Oh, definitely uh, some uh, premium driving here today with the new force feedback settings here on the wheel. We are at full 900 degrees of rotation and uh, loving every second of it. Now we're running trains into the first turn. we go. I thought I threw that too much. A little clutch kick fix, though. Whew. This is just a lot of driving right now. Just non-stop tandem. One take right now, so... This is definitely a uh, gonna kick back into the back of the train. Oh. There we go. Man, they're all Lowering it down the straight now. Definitely um, was scared to make that long of entry before, but my confidence level in this car has built a lot in this past few minutes. And this is just all tandems 
and doors here today. Drift trains. I'm having a lot of fun with this. This is insane. Ooh. So, if you guys remember last episode, I said I need to definitely get my uh, my drift bearings back. Well, uh, I think I have. I think I got my drift bearings back here in seven. Because uh, otherwise, this would have been a complete shitstorm. But we're not doing too bad. That was a little bit too much overzealous. So, <laughs> make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and all social media, all the found in the description box below. Ooh. And uh, I hope you guys are uh, enjoying the new feedback or not. Uh, I'm starting to get used to it, and uh, it feels pretty good when you're sideways. So, at first, I was not very happy with it, but I've uh, grown used to it, and I think uh, I think that just this just shows what a little bit of a uh, little bit of work can do because we're just tearing Lime Rock up right now. Because this is insane. This has been a full episode of just drifting and tandems. Oh, we lost our wing. We no longer have our big wing. But you know what? We will survive without the big wing. Alright, Ricky, what do you got? Or Rick C, what do you got? Let's see what Rick C's got. He's got that very big entry too. He went too much. Too much, but we got a we got a fast and furious car right behind us though. Getting doors. This is definitely a very big door session today. All the doors are being had right now. Gonna stay in it. Ooh. Yes. So, <laughs> let me know what you guys think about your take on the force feedback as well as your take on uh, <laughs> the ESDA car coming back this car makes me so happy you have no idea the smiles for miles I have right now <laughs> this is just insane let him go ahead of us trying to tan him in behind him Try and suck up on his door a little bit. There we go. Oh, yup. Oh, what happened? He lost it. Oh, get wrecked. So, I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. I think I need a little bit of a cool down. I think I'm going to go uh, reset my tires here. So if you guys like this episode and you guys want to see more here on Forza Motorsport 7, these drift toppers or tandems with randoms, let me know down in the comment section down below. I had a lot of fun ripping this ESDA Camaro. So I'd say a big thank you to all these guys here, TSU Creative and his ESDA Camaro. And uh, this man right here, I can't even really say his name. So until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out.